Hey guys, it's Vivi here, and today we're going to be looking at a WikiHow article on how to choose an instrument. So, let's get started. We're going to do, this is going to be a three-part um, video thing. Well, there's going to be three different videos, and each in each video we're going to have one method, and since there are three methods, it's going to be another part video. If you guys want, I'll also read through the Q&A for another video, but leave a like and tell us in the comments if you want us to do that. <clears throat> Let's get started. Learning to play an instrument is one of the coolest things you'll ever do. Whether you're just starting out in school, decided you wanted to play in a band, or have decided to learn to play music now that the kids have grown. It's a fun and rewarding thing to do. If you don't already know what you want to play, you're in great shape. That means everything is a possibility. See step one for some helpful advice about picking the right instrument for you. So method one, choosing a variety. Start early with piano. <clears throat> piano is a common starter instrument because it's easy to really see the music. Common in many cultures and styles of music, piano or keyboard is an excellent choice if you want to learn an instrument, regardless of whether you're young or old. Piano variations you'll be able to add to your repertoire later might be organ, accordion, synthesizer, harpsichord, or harmonium. I personally really want to start learning piano. Um, I think it's a really beautiful instrument and I feel like it'll help me personally be able to read music because that's something I um, personally struggle in. Um, but right now I do play guitar and I will say, this is, I was told it's like doing, like, multiple things at once. You have to be a multitasker. But I also feel like that applies to guitar because you have one hand um, on the frets and one hand picking or strumming. And then if you're a singer like me, you also are singing, which also applies to the piano if you are going to be singing with the piano. So now moving on to guitar, I'm figuring. Rock out on guitar from classical to death metal, learning to play guitar, learning, I'm guessing it means to, learning to play guitar opens all kinds of doors into new musical musics and styles. <clears throat> it has an impact on pop culture more than probably any other instrument and it's a super popular choice for first timers everywhere. Pick up an acoustic guitar to stay mo mobile, or check out its electric cousin to start to get started bumming at your neighbors and playing heady lights. You, once you've gotten guitar basics masters, mastered, you could also add other instruments to your six string canon: bass guitar, mandolin, banjo, harp dulcimer. Once again, I personally want to learn different kinds of guitars. If you ever seen a harp guitar, those are really cool looking. Um, that'd be awesome to learn one of those. But my friend plays mandolin. Um, he, well, used to play mandolin. Um, I We had a interview with her. Go check out that video. I'll leave a link in just the description for the video. Um, she's an artist, and her YouTube channel is called Hush Hour. Consider picking up a classical instrument. One of the most viable careers in music performance revolves around playing classical, classical strings. In orchestral, string quartet, or other settings. The instruments of the chamber might be right for you if you 
gotten interest in classical sounds, while you may have a stuffy reputation, these are still commonly used in folk music and other settings around the world. The classical strings include violin, viola, cello, and double bass. Violin. This generally, this is generally seen as the lead instrument in the world of strings. It's got an excellent range, range is easy to hold, and is sublimely the. Excuse me, sublimely. I'm sorry. I'm. It's early, and. Well, it's not early, but. I woke up late. Excuse me for my bad language. I can't English. <laughs> Expressive in a way that few other instruments can even try to be. Viola, somewhat larger than a violin. It's deeper and darker in tone than the violin. If you have longer arms and larger hands, you might consider the viola rather than the violin. Cello, the cello is much larger than the violin and viola and must be played sitting down with the instrument between your knees. It has a rich, deep tone akin to the, a male human voice. And while it can't reach the heights of, the, of a violin, it is immensely lyrical. Double bass. This is the lowest sounding member of the violin family. In classical or chamber sounding surroundings, it is most often played with a bow and occasionally plucked for, the, for effect. In jazz or bluegrass, where you often find a double bass, it's generally plucked and occasionally bowed for effect. <clears throat> I used to really want to play violin because that is where you really have to use sight reading. And like I said before, that's not my strong suit. So, um, but I think the violin is so beautiful to listen to. Um, I think all instruments are, but I really have a place in my heart for like violins and um, acoustic guitars and pianos, stuff like that. Shake hands with brass instruments. Both simple and complex, the brass family of instruments are basically long metal tubes that feature valves and buttons that alter the pitch. To play them, you, you buzz your lips inside a metal mouthpiece to create the sound. They're used in all types of concert bands and orchestras, jazz combos, marching bands, and as accompaniment to old school R&B and soul music. Brass instruments include trumpet, trombone, tuba, French horn, baritone, and saxophone. Saxophone. I, um, I used to want to play trumpet when I was like five, but, um, that's not my type of music, but if you are, um, interested in orchestra, um, you might want to play this. or one of these strings. Don't forget about the woodwinds. Like brass instruments, woodwinds are played by blowing into them. Unlike brass instruments, woodwinds are played through reeds that vibrate as you blow over them. They make a variety of beautiful tones and are extremely versatile instruments to play or jazz or classical music with. Woodwind instruments include flute, piccolo, or fife, saxophone, clarinet, oboe, bassoon, or, or a harmonica. I have two harmonicas from when I was younger, but one's a good one, one's a bad one, um, cheap and more um, expensive. They are fun to play. I don't know how to play it, but... Um, I do think that if you like more high, those are more high pitch, but I 
do think they have a beautiful town to them. I, I can see this in jazz or classical, like they said, but um, when I think about flute, I would think about like a classical music, but other things like a saxophone, definitely, I personally would see that in a jazz genre. Get rhythm by taking up a percussion. I remember when I really wanted to play drums, and I still do. I'm, if I could, I'd learn every instrument. But keeping the most time of most music groups in the job of, per, of the percussionist, in some bands, this will be provided on a kit drum, while other combos will feature a wider variety of instruments banged on with mallets or hands or sticks, Percussion instruments include the drum set, vibraphone, marimba, and xylophone. Glockespiel, bells and cymbals, congas and bongos, and the timbani. I honestly haven't heard of a few of these. Like, I haven't heard that, haven't heard that, haven't heard that. I'm not sure what a conga is, or a timpani, but I don't specialize in, in percussions. Consider new music instruments. People are making music with more than things than ever before. You may have seen that guy in the street corner with five, with five gallon paint buckets and saucepan lids. Tear um. Tearing up the rhythm, tearing up the rhythm. Drums, maybe percussion, certainly. Consider playing iPad. If you have one, you probably know there are, about, there are some truly amazing musical instruments that defy, that defy categorization, categorization. Tap on the screen and voice emerges from a puddle of blue on a green background. Flip apps and now you're playing a vintage 80 synth that cost 50,000 then and 99 cents now and sounds better. Sorry guys, I know that last sentence was like really mixed up with my words. I just mixed up that sentence. Again guys, sorry. Okay, have you Sorry, there was a fly. Have you got a couple turntables? To be a great DJ takes a lot of skill and a lot of practice, and anyone who tells you that's not music is wrong. All right, last step. Um, last part, number eight um, of method one. Check out this list. As you can see, there are more instruments than you can shake a rhythm stick at. Some of the difficult to categorize are listed below. Yurhu, Chinese two-stringed fiddle. Gakuin, Gakin, Chinese stringed instrument. Sitar, Dol, Dolsheimer, please don't get mad at me if I pronounce these wrong. Koto, Japanese harp. Bagpipes, ukulele. English horn, pan flute, flute, pan pipes, bagpipes. We just said bagpipes. Okay, whatever. Ocarina, recorder, tin whistle, fife. Didn't they say fife in a above category? Whatever. Kiana, mellophone, a marching version of a horn. Alto horn. Bugle or bugle, piccolo trumpet, and flugelhorn. I've thought about playing ukulele just because I feel like that's an easier version of guitar. Um, uh, I, th I think everyone's, a lot of people have played the recorder. Um, that's something we do in music class when we're younger. All right, so method two, choosing the right instrument. Um, 
when that video is out, I will put a link to that in the description. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Please check out more of my videos. I post every Tuesday. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great day. I love y'all. And just remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you, and just remember to stay creative. Bye! Sorry guys, forgot to mention. Um, the link to this wiki how will be in the link description if you want to look through it yourself. Um, and let me just show you the co-op there is. Uh, if you want to take a good look at them, um, they're right here. Just pause the video if you do want to read through this. Um, but anyway, guys, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, remember to stay creative. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Love ya, and bye for real this time. <laughs>